Hello again, everybody. This is Mary the Magnificent. My name is Dale Dufay, and we're here at Homestead 2, which is now our permanent residence. So I guess we can nickname it H2, I guess, from now on yeah. uh, for a reason. Uh, we've got our outdoor guests here. There's two of them. That's Chatty Patty. Uh, and then there's one that has a crooked tail. This might be crooked tails. That's Sorry, that's crooked tails. That's the mother of uh, two of the kittens we have inside mm -hmm. Gus and, and Sally. Tom Tom's been getting braver and coming up here to the steps yeah. and on the deck. Right, right. And speaking of which, we've got some progress going on the screened in deck here. Uh, I guess so. I guess you can call it a porch in a sense. We got it all framed out, ready to go. We're waiting for some more material. Uh, but you can see what it's generally what it's going to be like over here. We got a pretty good example. Uh, we're using all decking for the uh, railing. Well, actually, this is considered what, what we'd call a knee wall, and then we uh, overlapped everything so we could put the screen uh, panel right in there. See that from the inside. Uh, so we're doing this all the way around, and then we're going to have the vertical decking for the skirting as well. And we got an example of that on the other side there, yep. don't we? We did a, let's go around the other side. It's funny how they like to drink out of the flowering the water. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, bear with me, we gotta go the long way around. I could have took the steps, uh, but we got this corner all done with the skirting. See that, uh, isn't that nice? It looks really nice and it's solid. And then we even got along the step there and everything and then here this section is pretty much ready here we got our tools covered up on the side you know but see the idea there even on the top uh, and down the sides uh, and that'll that'll like you know the frame the screen frame will set right in there and then we're going to do two homemade screen doors too uh, and then we're going to also do that around the around the front why don't we show them what we did around yep. the front we got the front porch complete except for screening it in uh, we just recently decided we were going to screen it in too yep. uh, so it's we were going to leave it open but it's so nice and enclosed we're going to go ahead and screen it in but isn't that nice we got the, the roof tin roof on there and everything uh, kept it kind of flat only to follow the the flatness of the roof on the addition it's not flat it actually pitches a good one inch uh, but it you know so we had to really flash it real good up there. I had to repair a lot of the roofing on the trailer itself where the porch roof joint because it was just, the sheathing was literally rotting. I put my knee right through it. So I removed all the si uh, removed all the uh, roofing and replaced a two foot by eight foot section of, a, uh, of sheathing and then re-roofed it and flashed it in with this tin roof. So this for, you know, this could give you a good idea what it looks like, but isn't that nice? and and of course, we got to put an apron down there on the ground to keep the uh, water from splashing up on the wood like it already has. Uh, so that's the next project we're going to do once these the front and back porch are done. Is we're going to uh, skirt around all the eaves on the ground here. I put an apron along the skirting. The skirting's already up, but the apron is the part that where the shingles are right now. We're going to put concrete or stone slabs, whatever. You know, it's probably going to be hand mixed concrete and then we're going to also do like a sidewalk here and everything too and then also an apron along the deck there and along the back deck we don't need to put an apron on these ends because there's no runoff on the roof on the on the ends so but everything's doing really good um, we had somebody walk up yesterday and t tell us that this was paradise and at which point i agreed uh, because it really is we really do love it here and we're making it as nice as possible yeah, we, got because pumpkin. we got pumpkins going out there in the stumps uh, you know just to give that fall appeal we got a couple little pumpkins and one of them we're going to put on the mailbox there you know once that flower stops blooming that thing is really going good yeah. we've had that for almost two months now so we're looking forward to putting a pumpkin on there when necessary <laughs> yeah, yeah. when we need to and, but the cats seem to love it here. And oh, okay, Betty. We're gonna put the same roof okay, on this Betty. porch that you saw on the front porch. Okay, we're putting the same Good ones. Girl. So Chatty Patty showed up. She's up. She's yeah, there okay, she is. Betty. She's coming to eat. So both of our outdoor okay, females are here, which Mary made sure they got fixed. Okay, Betty. They got fixed about a year ago already. Good morning. Yeah. After their Good morning. litter. 
That's Pat, Chatty Patty, the mother of Pip, our the favorite little kitten Pip. in there. Yep. <laughs> and then, like you said, Tom comes around too as well. Yep, he was out here this morning. Oh, I see, I see Bobby in my bedroom window. <laughs> We're starting to get uh, new window treatments. We got new blinds for Mary's window there and then my window as well. Mine's all the way up there, as you can see. They're really nice uh, honeycomb, they call them, or, or cell, cell, cellular uh, blinds, and they're really nice, and they pull down without the string and everything. Yeah, there's no strings. Bobby seems to like it. No strings, okay. Oh, there's actually two cats in the window. Who is, who is it? Sally. Sally. Hi, Hi Sally. Gus. Oh, yeah, Gus. This is Gus's favorite window. How you doing, Gus? Trying to get you in there with the, with the screen not disturbing you. But yeah, your mom's out here, buddy. <laughs> and then there's Bobby, of course. But we can go inside, take a look at some of the stuff we've done inside. It is beautiful out here. Another beautiful day here in it's Southwest Michigan. It's supposed to be 84 degrees. It's supposed to be 84 degrees. Incredible. And uh, so we're taking advantage of it. We're going to be working on this back deck uh, porch. We're almost done. We got to put the you know rafters and stuff in for the metal roof. But here's our laundry room where all the cats like to hang out. This, this is the, the Pit Baroonies, our favorite little guy. You I saw your mom see. out there. Here's the masseuse, the magnificent. He is just a majestic, beautiful cat, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. really, really chumming up to everybody. And then, of course, Bobby, he likes to sneak out and get out. Hi, Pip. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Yeah. So, again. Oh, hi, Gus, Gus. You know, we got the, some new rugs yesterday. For the hallway uh, we can only get a few things at a time because of expenses but we're going to get another rug to match those two to go right here and then i'll put this one in my room but here's the living room we got everything all fixed up nice uh, mary's daughter painted these pictures these things are awesome i really enjoy these but now of course my favorite show star trek the next generation's on and then mary's got all of her collectibles in here isn't that nice? All the uh, little car, cars and uh, Hot Wheels and semi trucks and uh, race cars and all kinds of things. So oh, look at the, you, uh, you guys want to be in the video, don't you? In the worst way. And we got the, everything all set up real nice. You can see, you know, you can see me doing the hey. <laughs> but uh, everything's just so nice. From uh, the yep. kitchen, we're really utilizing this kitchen, Becky is the cook around here and she it's just wonderful to have nice home cooked meals all the time because mary and i were, <laughs> weren't that good at oh, it oh no uh, but the, it, it, everything's working out really good and now uh, we got some pictures hung as you can see and then again the laundry room we'll show you my bedroom this hallway is so cool we really enjoy this we're going to make this into a, a display case you know make it deeper and stuff so here's my bedroom Got to have my checkerboards and stuff. Got my Bobby plane checkerboard, a Fokker DR1 triplane, and then uh, electric one here. I got my checkerboard P51 Mustang. <laughs> I know it seems like a kid's room, but I just like having these things. This kind of makes it a, a, a more of an adult feature right there, that picture. We used to use these pictures in the Maggiano restaurants that we used to do. We did 23 of those restaurants, we did all the millwork package. And then uh, and Mary's room, is... the halls. The halls. <laughs> the halls in the hall. The hall sisters. So this is uh, Mary's room that she shares with her sister until we get the apartment over there fixed up for her sister. So isn't it nice how nice everything is? There's Stewie. He's, she's really liking it here. Isn't she? Oh, that's Stewie. a good kiss. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's uh, one of the six cats we have inside here. <laughs> so, oh, now they're all in here. They're all in here. They're all coming in. They're all going to be part of the video. There's the and Riri's six. under the blanket sleeping. And then Riri, the dog, is under the blanket. See all the kitties? They're all in here. There's Riri. we got six of those, Riri. You lied about it. There's Riri. He's a pug and a chihuahua mix. What do you call that? Chug. Chub. 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 But he's a really good dog. You know why I can say that? He's a good dog. It's because he hardly know he's around. So that's a really good sign. Very good dog. Very good. How you doing, buddy? 
good to see you. You're part of the video now, huh? You part of the video? He's such a good boy. Say hi to everybody. Hi, baby. <laughs> but we're really excited and flattered that people like to watch these videos. So we'll keep on doing them. Because we're doing work every single day. Every single day. Uh, well, there's always stuff to do. Like, uh, I'm trying to keep up on some of my videos. Yeah, she's got her channel going. And, yeah, I'm working on one today. Yeah, she's. I, I recommend, you know, if you've watched those, she works. A lot of people don't appreciate how much uh, uh, work it takes to, to do a video. That takes a it's while. It's a lot of work. Oh, but isn't this cool? We did this set up on this little shelf because uh, I, you know, I had my sphere collection. And then uh, we have some other really cool stone skulls and things like that. And I like these pictures that are puzzles, that were puzzles that are put together. But yeah, this is the, this is the cat room. Look at that. Oh, this is, yeah, this, we really got this really set up really cool, I think. Um, and of course I got uh, some st stones in there and that jar and then that jar and these figurines are really cool. Uh, hey, you guys. <laughs> They're thinking they're getting treats because the treats are up here, see? <laughs> so this is like their favorite. Every can't come in this room without them thinking they're going to get treats. Can't come in the door. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Hi, Riri. You guys are so good. Like I said, I hardly even notice Riri's around because that's how good he is. Yeah, and that's what we like to do. We like to make Riri like a siren. Riri, 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 And then we make it even fade away. But here, you know, we've got... Um, uh, you know, these are really cool uh, and affordable. I get them at Fossil Era. We got, you know, our jar of spheres here. There's 144 spheres, all stone and petrified wood in that glass jar. Isn't that cool? Then I'm going to start setting up my globes wherever I can. I've got some other, you know, jars with spheres in them, marble sized ones and those. We got our feather collection here. Um, those are eagle feathers, owl feathers, hawk feathers, you name it. Uh, and of course, the cats. The and cats. My, <laughs> and my stone in the oh, bottom. Yeah, that, it's a really cool, uh, uh, it's an ancient fossil of a coral uh, that was found. Mary actually found this yep. in the ground. Found it in the, the ground. The size of that thing is huge. And uh, what's amazing about it is, you know, what does that tell us? It tells us that Michigan. Uh, it used, yeah, to um, the, uh, used to be buried with sea It used to be a sea, saltwater sea here at one it? time. Where many, it? many thousands, millions you of years ago. The, there's, um, hang on, there's somewhere there. Um, Something inside of it, right? Yeah. Like a fossil inside the there's fossil. Like the little clam things and stuff. Yeah, like little seashells in there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're there, you have to look at. But these things are, you know, they have even what they call Petesky stones. Uh, that, in fact, here's one, another one that Mary found. I think it's, yeah, look at that. See, that's a, a authentic Petes, Petesky stone. And that, this, these right are, there. these are all over right in down Michigan. in there. In that hole right there. Yeah, let me just zoom in. Stupid camera won't zoom, you know, there we go. See them? Isn't that cool? That's a shell down in there. Yeah, fossils within a fossil. Look at all them. And them could be so, some of the cellular parts for the, for the coral. Uh, but there's some of the shells in there as well. It's pretty cool. A clam shell. But this is, this is another example of the Petoskey stone. That's a giant one there. Uh, but uh, these we found, these, she found that one at Pawpaw and she yeah. found this one here on H2. So yeah, you should probably display that. That's uh, they're not that valuable, but they are pretty cool. Like you could buy this one all polished. If somebody polished it for like you know a hundred dollars or something. And these these you can get for twenty dollars polished. But I like them, you know, authentic. In its raw form. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, Becky's taking Reeve out right now. Reeve has got to go out. I don't think he's been out yet, huh? I woke up. <laughs> yeah, we still have you know things to do and, yep. and fix up in here, but we're getting really, really close. And it's very comfortable in here. You know, we both just love it here. And Becky's enjoying it here too. So and here underneath we we didn't go underneath the porch here. But you can see the tin roofing and everything. We got it all flashed in real nice. This is the tin roofing for the back porch. 
Uh, there's six pieces in there. It's enough to go 12 feet. So that's what's going over our back porch. There's our little pumpkin. Yeah, there's our little guys. So we're trying to get this place spruced up for fall, even though it's got like su well, summer the weather. Oh, there's Becky. Hi, Becky. Hey, bye, Becky. Hey, bye, bye. Becky. Bye. <laughs> there's my sister. There's my sister. Oh, they just love each other. Aren't they pretty? The pretty hall women. Yeah. So Becky's kind of shy, but uh, she is pretty if you want to see it. Hi, what was it? Patty. It's Ch Ch Chandy. Well, you always tell by the, the ear. Yep, that's P Chatty Patty. And her tail. They clipped, they clipped Patty's ear when they had her fixed, but they didn't clip Crooked Tail's ear for some reason. So, Mary, is there anything else you want to say before we, we end this video? And I just we'll want do to say more. I love you guys, and sorry it's taking us a while to do a home video, and I've been trying to get my videos and stuff, so, yes. but I love you guys, and thank you guys so much for any donations that anybody has sent. I don't think there's been any lately, but I put my links in the description box. The description box below. Below the video. Yep, below the video. Right. And the PayPal and Cash App. Because we could still use donations, right, for the you know feeding these stray cats and. The cat gets expensive cat yeah. litter and. Oh, I know. But I love you guys, and you guys are the best. All right. So with that, we thank you for watching. And we'll talk at you later. Love you.